All right, y'all. I played a little bit of the Black Ops 6 beta, and I just want to talk about it a little bit. Um, I'll throw some gameplay up on the screen for you if you want. Otherwise, feel free to turn your phone to your phone screen off or whatever screen you're watching this off, or don't pay attention to it because this is just going to be mostly me talking. With that being said, if the footage looks a little weird, I do apologize. For whatever reason, it recorded at like two thirds the size of what it should. So if I, if I fixed it, I'll put a little note here saying I fixed it. Uh, and if I didn't, I'll put a little note here saying I didn't. Uh, but anyway, so I tried the COD 6 beta. I think a lot is riding on this Call of Duty. This is one of the most hyped up Call of Duties, I think, in a long time. Um, people are talking about... It's the first Call of Duty to come out since the, uh, big, uh, ABK Activ Activision. ABK acquisition from, uh, Billy Microsoft and Phil Spencer. So, that's pretty interesting. But yeah, I, I, and, and, not to mention, with that being the first brand new Call of Duty uh, to be on Game Pass at launch, which I think is, that's crazy. I mean, I, I kind of knew they were going to do that, but it's just kind of crazy. It's actually, they're actually, it's actually going to be a thing. You, this is like, you don't have to pay $70 for Call of Duty anymore. I just think that's kind of wild. Like I said, a lot riding on it. I think it's one of the most hyped up ones for a while. If I remember correctly, it's had a four year development cycle, which is longer than any other COD, at least in recent times. Um, and I'm, I'm no Call of Duty expert. I haven't played them all. I have played, I'd, I'd say I've played most of them. I've played, uh, at least from like the quote unquote modern COD starting point of, I was like Call of Duty four kind of being the starting of that. I did four Modern Warfare two, MW three, World at War, Black Ops one, Black Ops two. And then I kind of didn't play and another Call of Duty again until World War II, and even that was just the campaign, ironically enough. And uh, then I didn't play a Call of Duty again after that until Modern Warfare 2019, and then I got Vanguard, I got Cold War, and then I got uh, Modern Warfare 2, kind of, but I didn't play that one a lot. Uh, never bothered with MW3, so this is, and so then I'm, I jump back into at Black Ops 6. I played this on PC through PC Game Pass. Uh, that's where all footage you are seeing was captured from. And uh, I uh, uh, recorded using OBS Studio. PC specs are Ryzen 9 5900. It is a AMD Radeon 6750 XT with 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. So some initial quick thoughts from the beta is that it's not bad at all. Not my favorite. I don't think it's really my favorite in terms of multiplayer. Uh, Black Ops One is definitely my favorite multi. Definitely my favorite multiplayer out there. Uh, but like I said, Black Ops One is a is a tall mountain to climb in terms of my favorite multiplayer. Uh, but this one's definitely not my least favorite. Honestly, I think my least favorite multiplayer that I played was Cold War. That one was kind of hot garbage in my opinion. It felt like crap. The score streaks were wonky, and it was it was awful. I hated it. I hated every second of that game. Uh, and the big whole omni movement thing was a big deal. How you can like sprint in any direction. I don't think that's bad. I'm someone who is sprinting practically 24 seven, but I'm not a movement guy. I'm not going back and forth in front of a door. I'm not sliding, jumping, slide, jump, jump, slide, drop shot, shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm not doing that. Um, so it felt good for me, but like I'm by no means a movement god. Uh, I think the guns feel great. I think the shotgun kind of sucks ass. But it does kind of feel good to shoot, but it just I just wish it hit a little harder. That thing is it was shot faster, one of the two. It does not do enough uh, damage for that slow of a fire rate. Uh, pr praise the Lord, gunfight is in this, is at least in the beta. I think gunfight, which was introduced in MW 2019, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's like the best game mode they have ever implemented in Call of Duty. I, countless late nights especially during covid just me and the homies playing some gunfight taking on two on two or even the herrera three on three i think they had a gunfight of at some point in that and it was just so such a good game mode so i'm so glad to see it return i know it wasn't an nw the new mw2 at launch but they added it later but they didn't add it till like kind of after my time was done with the game like i said i didn't play that one a whole lot but you know 
And I never played uh, Modern Warfare 3, so I don't know if it's in there. Kitty's going crazy. Um... But yeah, like, so I'm so glad they have that game mode back in there. But overall, pretty solid game, pretty solid beta. I'm not, this is going to be a long video where I'm giving deep dive in depth. This is just very, I thought I had to sneeze. But I'm not, I'm not going to go in and dissect every little second of the game, every little thing about the game. Uh, I think I would like to see, I know it was score streaks. They might have been, I can't, I didn't check to see if I could switch it. But I really like, would like to see if you could uh, switch that to kill streaks if you want, which I always preferred kill streaks over score streaks. Which, if I'm not mistaken, like I said, I haven't, I haven't checked. Maybe I'll check before I put this out, put a little thing in there that says you can switch it or you can't. Uh, up here, there you go. That that's the answer. If you can switch from kill streaks to score streaks or vice versa, uh, but yeah, other than that, pretty solid. I had fun playing it, uh, but the, it wasn't a perfect experience. I'm not a fan of COD HQ. I think that is the dumbest fucking thing on the planet. It just adds unnecessary bloat to the uh, download size and the install size. That I would. I feel like I can confidently say 95% of people, if not higher, uh, don't want in their game. Get COD HQ out. Just If someone wants to buy the new game, they'll buy it and download it separately. They shouldn't have to have this whole freaking COD HQ thing, which is really stupid. And uh, whenever playing... And whenever I would like start to launch the beta, I'd go from COD HQ to the Black Ops 6 uh, menu to do the beta... It would it would have to like close out the whole game. I'm gonna it'd have to close out the whole game and relaunch it, and then launch black close out the COD HQ, then launch Black Ops Six separately, which is so stupid. Another reason COD HQ is just pointless on so many levels. Just if I want to play Black Ops Six, and I click play Black Ops Six. I shouldn't have something launch, click bla click play Black Ops 6 a second time, then have it close, and then just relaunch it. Just launch Black Ops 6 from the start, dude. And then the uh, one more thing is the unnecessary amount of updates. The beta was four days, and I twice I have had to, at the time of recording at least, like, the beta technically isn't over at the time of recording. Uh, it's the last day of it. This is Monday the 9th. I'm looking to get this video up tomorrow. At the time of recording this, this I, I've... It was only four days. I've got I, when I've gotten on it twice to play it. It's done the whole. If you're a COD fan, you know what I'm talking about. Update requires restart. You click it. Blah, blah, blah. It's a four day beta, and I've already experienced it to force me to restart the game due to two updates. Just like I get it. It's a beta build. Even if this was like the full game, fine. I, I can see them like kind of trying to improve it a little bit here and there as fast as they can. That's fine. Uh, but this is two, a four day thing. Just push the build out the way it needs to be. And I, the amount of times, especially playing Modern Warfare 2019 and the amount of times it was like an update is required. An update is complete requires restart, blah, blah, blah. It was like borderline. I want to say at least half the time I got on the game, it was an absurd amount of times that that game needed to update like that. Just crazy. But with all that being said, I liked it. My The friends I played with weren't nearly as high on it. They said the movement and everything felt a little clunky, which quite frankly, I don't agree with at all. I don't know really where they're getting that. Uh, and yeah, I'll check it out regardless because it's on Game Pass. If I probably wouldn't buy this under normal situations because uh, no one I know would buy it with me and I wouldn't have anyone to play with. But with it being on Game Pass, I'm paying for Game Pass anyway on PC. Might as well uh, get used to that. You know what I'm saying? So I'll probably check it out regardless. Uh, that way I can check out the full multiplayer suite. I can uh, do the campaign and do some zombies. So it makes, And I'll definitely make a full video on the full game uh, when the time comes. A lot more in my normal style. But I just wanted to get on real quick, talk about the beta. Call of Duty Black Ops 6, it comes out uh, in October sometime, I don't know, early October. I'll be getting it on PC Game Pass, pretty stoked about it. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that vid my full video on it. Like this one, and then let's talk in the comments. If you've played the beta, let me know what you think. Uh, if you're just anti-COD all around, I get it.
Uh, but any and all any and all uh, viewpoints I wanted to hear about. So make sure you talk about that in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Have a conversation down there. Uh, but in the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next, oh, the next video I'm going to put out. I hope to get it out uh, next week. I have finished uh, Dishonored and the two DLCs, Knife of Dunwall and The Witches of Brigmore. Finished up all of that along with the main game. So I hope that new the video on that. I see no reason why it won't be up a week from today, aka, uh, I mean a week, yeah, a week from today. Sorry, I got the, pulled the curtain back a little bit, forgot I'm recording this the day before. Um, it should be up September 17th at noon, Eastern Standard Time, per the usual for the game videos. So, be on the look, make, also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one. Uh, so yeah, starting video next week, Work always working on video game videos, food videos, blah, blah, blah. Subscribe like and let's talk in the comments appreciate your time and attention see you in the next one see you in the yeah see you in the next one